Hi guys, uh, welcome back to part six of my PlayStation 2 collection. Um, gonna be quite a few to get through, so I'm just gonna get going. First game I have here is Spectral vs. Generation. This is a 2D fighter. Um, it was a budget title, and uh, so it can be found for very, very cheap, and it's really good. Um, I highly recommend it. If you like 2D fighters, Definitely seek this one out because it doesn't go for a lot of money. Next game I have here is Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Uh, have yet to play this game, but I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I do look forward to getting started on it at some point. Next game is Headhunter. Uh, this is a port of the Dreamcast game, if I'm not mistaken. Um, haven't got around to playing it yet. This is why the stickers are still on it because I just haven't got around to to trying these ones out yet. Again, uh, Terminator. This is uh, Terminator Three: The Redemption. Uh, again, haven't got around to playing this game yet, but I do hear it's a very, very good game. Next one I have is Deadly Strike. Uh, this was a budget title. I think I paid like less than two pounds for this and i didn't even pay any postage um this is very much a 3d beat-em-up um but in my opinion it's not very good it's pretty average in my opinion um very very mediocre um it's not worth a pound in my opinion it's just it's very boring the level design is very boring um the hit detection is a little bit dodgy um just not very good um i'd stay away Next one I have here is Guilty Gear X2. Um, haven't got round to playing this game game yet, but the Guilty Gear series is a solid um, series of uh, 2D fighters, so you can't really go wrong with any of them. Next one I've got here is Rumble Roses. This is a all-women wrestling game by Konami. Picked this up at a charity shop. Was really chuffed to find it. Um, but I haven't got around to playing it yet, so I don't really know what it's like. Next up, I've got uh, Maximo. I believe this is a loose semi-sequel to the Ghouls and Ghosts series. Um, haven't got around to playing this yet, So, uh, but again, I hear it's very good, but I also hear it's very hard. Next one I have is The Thing. Um, I've heard this is a very good uh, survival horror game. So again, I haven't got around to playing it yet. So I look forward to doing so at some point. Okay. Let's get the next set of games ready. Okay, next one I've got here is Steel Dragon EX. This is another um, vertical shoot 'em up And it's really good. This has actually got two games in one. I believe it's got like a... Uh, uh, the, the regular version and I, I believe an enhanced version uh, but the regular version is better it's got better graphics I, I really didn't like the enhanced enhanced version very much uh, but it's a solid shoot 'em up uh, can't go wrong if you're into your shoot 'em ups next one I have here is uh, Spider-Man 2 uh, this is a fantastic game uh, I completed this back in the day uh, I ended up training it away so this one was uh, recently bought Back into put back into the collection. Really, really good game. Open world Spider-Man game. Uh, just fantastic. Um, you know, if, if you haven't got this already, I recommend you pick it up. Next one is Donald Duck in Quack Attack. Uh, just a very nice, solid 3D platform game. Nothing really special about it, but it's solid. It, it works, and if you like 3D platformers, they're definitely worth a shot if you find it uh, cheap in the wild. Next one is Le Mans 24 Hours. This is a racing game, clearly. I uh, haven't got around to playing it yet, so I have no idea what it's like. Next, we've got Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Believe it or not, up until very recently, I'd never actually played a Splinter Cell game before. And it's surprisingly very good. So I highly recommend it. Um, if you haven't tried them out on the PS2, you can get the uh, HD collections on the current systems. But uh, yeah, it's really good from what I've played and I'll, I look forward to getting stuck into this one at some point. Next one here is Firefighter FD18. 
this is a real hidden gem on the PS PS2. I highly recommend this game, guys. It is as you, as you can see, it's a firefighting game, but it's not a simulation. It's not. Um, it is sort of more of like an action. I'd almost say even arcadey type game. Uh, it's really really good. Uh, definitely uh, seek this one out guys this is a hidden gem on the system uh, it's a very very good game plays really well it can be very tense at times uh, and yeah it's a fun game uh, so yeah recommended next one I've got here is Terminator Dawn of Fate haven't played this yet uh, but I hear it's not very good so I'm not really looking forward to trying it out Okay, next game is Assault Suits Vulcan. Uh, this is a remake of, I believe, a Super Nintendo game, which was Cybernator. I have that game as well. Um, it's a 2D side-scrolling action game. It's really, really good. Uh, but in my opinion, the Super Nintendo version is better. So if you do want to try it out, I recommend Cybernator on the Super Nintendo. But this is still worth a pick up nonetheless. It's still a fun game. Next one is Judge Dreth, just Judge Dreth, Judge Dread, Dread versus Death. This is a first person shooter game. You play as Judge Dredd. It's a solid first person shooter. Nothing particularly remarkable about, remarkable about this game, but it is a lot of fun. And uh, if you do like first person shooters or if you're into Judge Dredd, it's definitely worth a pick up. And the next one, we've got The Getaway. Um, I haven't really spent too much time on this game, so I can't really comment too much on it. But I do find the controls quite fiddly. Not... Not as easy to get into as, as, say, the GTA series. It's an open world game, and what I really like about it is that it's, it's set in and around London, which is where I'm from. Um, it's a cool game nonetheless, but I haven't really given it a proper go yet to properly form a, a, a better opinion. Okay, next one we've got here is... Dead or Alive 2, um, I absolutely love the Dead or Alive series, I've been a fan since the arcade game back in the day, uh, and this is a brilliant game, uh, very enjoyable, fast paced 3D fighting game, I'm sure most of you have heard of the Dead or Alive series, um, I recommend it if you like uh, uh, fighters. Next one, Def Jam Fight for New York, I absolutely love this game, i I played this game to death. I've completed it so many times. Um, I've played it with my friends. The fact that you can actually create your own character, build him up through the story mode, it's fantastic. This is probably one of my most, if not probably my most played game on the PlayStation 2. Uh, so much fun. Uh, it definitely ranks in my top five favorite PlayStation 2 games of all time. Um, for those that don't know, this is very much sort of like a urban wrestling game uh, where you, you sort of face uh, uh, all these sort of real life rappers in in character as, as these sort of underground fighters um, it's a really cool game uh, I highly recommend picking it up if you like fighting games or um, if you just want something to sort of play with your mates it's definitely uh, a lot of fun um, and I've actually not even played any of the um, established characters in the fighting game uh, i generally just make my own character and build them up that's where the real meat of this game lies and that's where the most fun is to be had definitely recommended next one i've got here is the king of fighters um this is a it's a, it's a king of fighters game guys uh, it's a solid uh, 2d fighter uh, definitely recommended if you are into 2d fighters um, it's brilliant. I love the King of Fire series and as you'll probably see a little bit later on, I've got quite a few of them. Uh, next one I've got here is Super Dragon Ball Z. Uh, out of all the Dragon Ball Z fighters that have come out, this is actually my favourite. And funnily and, and ironically enough, this is actually the one that most people don't like. Um, because it's not as it's not as deep as some of the others. I mean, yeah, it's a very shallow 3D fighting game. But one thing I like about this game is the fact that it's very easy to jump right in and, and fight. Um, 
the moves play very much like a standard 3D fighter. Um, I actually believe this was actually an arcade game at one point, uh, which probably explains its, its accessibility. Um, the other games probably have a little bit more to do, but this one, in my opinion, is the most fun. If you see this one in the world, check it out. Even if you're not a fan of Dragon Ball Z, this one definitely caters uh, just the fans of, of 3D fighters in general. It's easily the most accessible Dragon Ball Z game out there. Next game is Batman Rise of Sinzu. Uh, this is a 3D beat em up where you get the choice to play as Batman or any one of his sidekicks. It's a fun game. Um, nothing too special, but it's a lot of, lot of fun. If you're into 3D beat-em-ups or, or 2D beat-em-ups, it's definitely worth a try if you see it for cheap. Next one I've got here is Hyper Street Fighter 2, the anniversary edition. What this essentially is, is a compilation of, of the classic Street Fighter 2 games. Um, it's a must-have in my opinion if you're if you were into into Street Fighter 2 uh, It's brilliant and you even get uh, the Street Fighter 2 animated movie from the early 90s Included on the disc as well um, Yeah, great 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 compilation Next one I have here is the art of fighting anthology It's still sealed haven't had a chance to get around to this one yet uh, but what you've got here is three games. You have Art of Fighting, Art of Fighting 2, and um, what is that one? Art of Fighting the Warrior, Art of Fighting 3, basically. Um, you know, I mean, the Art, the, Art, the Art of Fighting series was never really my favourites from SNK, but uh, I do believe they got better as, as the games went along. I, I, I hear that Art of Fighting 3 is really, really good, so... I look forward to trying this one out at some point. Next one I hear, continuing with the compilations, I've got World Heroes Anthology. Uh, this is a series of games that were on the Neo Geo. Um, I believe there's how many games? Yeah, you've got four games here. You've got World Heroes, World Heroes 2. I think World Heroes 3. Was that World? Sorry, no, it's World Heroes Jet. And world heroes perfect so i think that one of them was like an updated version of the other um it's a cool uh, 2d fighting series but it's it's not my best by a long shot or should i say it's not the best by a long shot next game is urban rain uh this is a 3d uh side scroll so a 3d beat em up and it's actually really good. Uh, this one plays really well. Uh, I, I actually do recommend this game. I think this game sort of went under the radar for a lot of people. Um, it's made by the people that made Tekken. Um, it, it plays really well. Uh, I highly recommend it. Definitely check this one out, guys. And next one I have is Virtual Fighter Evolution. Um, what can I say about this game? It's a virtual fire game. It's a great 3D fighter. If that's what you're into, then definitely check this one out. Next, we've got uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Battle Nexus. Uh, this is a 3D beat em up, and um, it's okay. It's 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 a, it's a cool scrolling beat em up. Um, it's not going to win any awards. Um, it's fine. I mean, to be honest with you, most 3D beat em ups don't aren't really able to capture that magic from the golden era of 2D side scrolling, but uh, it's still a fun game. It plays really well. And we have the first game in the series. Again, this is a 2D side, uh, sort of 2D. Sorry, it's a 3D side scrolling, uh, 3D beat 'em up. Can't get my words out. Uh, and it's it's fun. It's, it's it's a fun game. Plays very well. But again, you know, it's it's not a patch on the earlier 2D side scrolling beat 'em ups like Turtle in Time or the arcade game. Oh, actually. On this one, I do believe you can unlock the original arcade game, the four-player arcade game from back in the day. So this is actually available to play on this version. It actually does say here, unlock a blast from the past, the original T TMNT arcade game. So yeah, so this is worth getting just so you can unlock that. 
Moving on, we've got Tekken 5. Awesome, awesome Tekken game. Really, really fun. Um, just brilliant. I mean, the Tekken series, I mean, it's a legendary fighting series. And this is definitely one of the best games in the series. Next one is Guilty Gear Isuka. Uh, this is one of the Guilty Gear games that most people haven't really sort of looked into much. This is definitely one that f flew under the radar. It's a really, really cool uh, 2D fighter. Um, I believe there is... Um, this is quite cool. It actually does have um, two modes of play. You've got the standard one-on-one uh, -on -one fighter, and it also has a 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up game as well. So if you like games like Streets of Rage, uh, Final Fight, definitely check this one out, guys, because you get two games in one. So definitely worth hunting down. Next one is Soul Calibur 3. Uh, really cool fighting game. I love the Soul Calibur series. Um, this is a really cool one. Um, I believe this isn't a lot of people's favourites, but I like it. I, I find it very enjoyable. So if you like Soul Calibur, yeah, I definitely recommend picking it up. Next game I've got here is Armored Core 2. Um, very cool 3D action uh, mech game. Uh, probably not everyone's cup of tea, but uh, it is enjoyable once you get used to the controls and you sort of learn to build up your mech. Uh, it's a fun game. The Armored Core series are, is solid. Next one I have here is King of Fighters 11. Uh, this is still sealed. Haven't got around to playing this because um, I, shortly after I bought this, um, I went on and I went to get, I went and bought. Uh, King of Fighters 13 for the PS3. So usually when I decide I want to have a quick game on King of Fighters, I just sort of put on 13 instead. But I hear this is a fantastic uh, King of Fighters game, probably one of the best. But uh, I'm in no rush to play it simply because uh, King, of Fight King of Fighters 13 is so good. Um, that's usually where I go to get my King of Fighters fix. Again, King of Fighters, we've got... King of Fighters, the Orochi Saga. Essentially what this is, is a compilation of the classic King of Fire games of the 90s. So as you can see here, you've got 94, 95, 96, 97, 98. Uh, some great games here. A lot of games that I grew up with back in the day. So for me, this was definitely worth adding to the collection. Next one I've got here is King of Fire's Maximum Impact. This is basically when King of Fires decided to dabble in a bit of 3D fighting. Um, it works well enough. Um, I'm cool with the game. I enjoy it. Um, but yeah, it's not a patch on the 2D games. But it's still fun. It's very playable. And finally, guys, uh, one of my favorite compilations here, and that is uh, Samurai Showdown Anthology. Uh, this is excellent. I absolutely love the Samurai Showdown series. And this has got a great selection of games here. You've got six, sam six Samurai Showdown games here. Highly recommended. This can be quite pricey um, and quite uh, tricky to track down. Um, it never got a, a UK release. Or I believe if it did, it got like a very limited run. So the, the, the English version can be very, very rare. This one is an Italian copy. So the back of the box is in Italian and the manual as well. But the in-game is actually in English. So, uh, and it, it's excellent. Um, if you are a fan of 2D fighters, this is definitely very high must-have. Highly recommended. So that's it, guys. Uh, that's the end of uh, part six. Uh, it looks like I'm going to be stretching this out to a part seven as well. Um, I didn't want to do that, but there are just quite a few games I've still got left to show you guys. So it looks like there is going to be a part seven as well. Um, but there's going to be a lot of quality games in the next video. So stay tuned for that one. And of course, if you haven't seen parts one to five, please check them out first before you check out um, part seven, uh, which will be coming soon. But thank you very much for watching, guys, and thanks very much for sticking around this long. Uh, I know it's it's been a, it's been a long slog, so hopefully you guys have been enjoying the vids. 
Uh, I know a few of you have been giving me a lot of good feedback. So thanks very much, guys, for that. I really appreciate it. Um, it has encouraged me to carry on. Um, but we're almost to the end, guys. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for part seven, and I will speak to you guys again soon. Bye for now.